Welcome to another Click Consulting video podcast. My name is Jeff, and thank you for joining our Excel University series. Please grab a copy of the book and download the sample file so you can work along. This video provides the solutions to the named references exercises. In this exercise, we'll name a single cell reference. Start by selecting the cell, and then type the name into the name box and press enter. Now, let's use this name in a formula. One way is to just type the name into your formula. Another way is to hit the F3 key to reveal the paste name dialog box. Or, if we just select the cell, Excel will insert the name. Finally, let's double click to push the formula down. In this exercise, we'll assign a name to a range. Select your range, and then enter the name in the name box and press enter. Type the first few letters of the name while writing a formula to reveal the autocomplete list. Select the name and hit tab to insert it into your formula. Now, let's use the name box to quickly jump to our named references. Pull down the name box to reveal a list of named references. Select any name to jump to it. As you can see, the name box provides a convenient way to navigate to all the named references in your workbook. In this exercise, we'll explore the name manager. To define a new name, start by selecting the cell. Then, select the Name Manager icon from the ribbon. The Name Manager allows us to add, edit, or delete named references. Click New and then enter the name ST underscore Rate. Click OK to insert the name. Verify the name was inserted by inspecting the name box. Now, let's edit the name. Open up the Name Manager. Select the name and click Edit. Type in the new name, tax underscore rate, and click OK. Verify the new name by inspecting the name box. Now, let's practice some keyboard shortcuts. Select the cell and then type Alt-I-N-D for Insert Name Define. This brings up the Name Manager. Now type Alt-N for New. Type the name G underscore Rate and press Enter. Now, back in the Name Manager, hit Escape to close. Use the arrow key shortcuts to navigate to and select the formula destination range. Enter the formula, and then instead of pressing Enter, hold down Control and press Enter. This automatically fills the formula to the selected range. Keep your hands on your keyboard to improve your speed. Now, sit back and watch as I complete the same exercise at full speed. Production of Click Consulting.